All right, what is up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna make this video quick um, because I don't need to waste a bunch of time. You know, everyone knows who these two fighters are and how they fight, so I don't feel like there's any need for me to dive into that and go into detail. So um, let's just get into who I think's gonna win um, between Archer Beter Beterbiev and Dmitry Bivol. Um, light heavyweight. Uh, undisputed champion, the first one of the four belt era, uh, the first undisputed in general since Roy Jones Jr. I believe someone's allowed to fact check me on that. I wouldn't mind. Um, so, um, my prediction, and I will say it. So I've been, I've only done I think two prediction videos on my YouTube, and I'm one for one. I was right about uh, Fury Usyk, completely wrong about Joshua Dubois, so I have a chance to make it up, and I am going to try to redeem myself by a pretty unorthodox, you know, prediction here. I don't know how many people are going to agree with this, but I am going to say Dimitri Bevel by TKO in the later rounds maybe even as fat sooner than people think and I, the reason i say this is i kind of i believe that bevel um is going to be too compact defensively and he's going to be able to control better be of better than any any fighter that better be of has fought before you know um i think better be of is you know he's a great boxer. He's he's gonna Bevel's gonna have his hands full with him for sure. But Bevel is too smart, too compact. He has a plan, I think, and he's gonna be able to control better Bev. He's the better boxer of the two. That's what I believe. I said that about Joshua, you know, against Dubai, and you saw how that worked out. But I'm gonna stick by that still. Um, let's see. Um, and Bevel, another thing is, I think he has criminally underrated punching power. I don't think he's an exceptional puncher. I don't even think he hits harder than better BF. But people got to give this guy credit because he does hit like a moose. He hits fucking hard. Um, he's not the crazy. He's not. He doesn't have, you know, crazy power. But people need to realize that this dude has the power to knock people out. He's not... You know, if, just because of how he fights, he, you know, he just goes the distance because he doesn't, he's not looking for that knockout all the time, but he's certainly capable of it. And I think he's going to cap, but he's going to capitalize on better be of his aggressiveness. He's going to counter punch him. And I think he might take him out. And realistically, I should say that he's probably just going to get a decision. I think he's going to win, but in case he doesn't, the worst thing that happens is I could be wrong, or the best thing that happens is I could be right. So, I'm going Bevel, TKO, round 11. I'll tune in with y'all at the end of the fight, after the fight's over. Should be tomorrow. And may the best man win. I like them both. And signing out. Peace.